Good morning, woodchucks. Let's come out here and see if we got any honey in our beehives today. Well, there's one. There's a two. How's the flowers doing? They're wet, so they're good for a good enough amount of days, I would think. Uh, two so far. I'm getting around five to seven, like I said, uh, out of these 10 beehives mostly. Are these ready yet? No, they're not. So far, two, three, which is before three would have been great on a day but hopefully we get a couple over here uh wait uh four well five so kind of uh on the low end of the average day i would think yep all the flowers are doing wonderful the apple's not quite ready so what are we doing today you might be asking well we're getting kind of close to where the planks crates and the dryers are will be coming ready to be dried i want to put them over here but uh, we're not doing that today. At least I don't think we are, right? Well, we're kind of, I'm kind of far off from the drying cycle, right? Yeah, 33. I got like another three days to go on those. Not too bad at all. But what I want to do over here, because I've been getting a lot of questions on it recently and some comments on it recently. So I thought, well, first we'll head out to the bus stop. We're going to go buy something. Something I really don't want. But you know what? I'll bite the bullet. I'll be the one that buys it and uh, we'll give it a whirl. Uh, I'm not too thrilled about it. Do you know what it is yet? Do you know what it is? Oh, man. Yep, we're going to come over to this shop here because that's the only place where we can get one. Hopefully the game doesn't uh, do anything weird. Nope, we're here. We're fine. Let's come over here. It's nothing that's... It's more expensive than I thought it would be, but yeah, here it is. Uh, this thing. Uh, all right. 8,000 euros for a riding mower. Yep, I just spent $8,000 on a machine I really don't want to buy, but I did. I did. How fast does this thing go? 25 kilometers an hour on a riding mower. Well, we're going to give it a whirl. Can I turn this thing off? It's actually going to mow as I drive. Ride it around. Ah. So yeah, we're going to kind of compare the weed strubber to the mower today to see what it's like. Uh, a lot of people have said they try to use it and on rough terrain, I would say like terrain like that on the right hand side, it tends to get stuck. Uh, no kidding, uh, tractors tend to get stuck on that as well. So the main thing, the ma main reason why I didn't want to use this at all, I think I took a quick look at it. When I mean a quick look, I mean a really quick look. It's like, oh uh, yeah, there's a riding mower here at, at the store. How nice. And I moved on just because uh, I have one in Farmer's Dynasty and the game mechanics I would say are pretty much the same I would assume but I really haven't tried it so I should be saying that right so we're gonna give it a whirl today we're gonna compare this like I said to the weed trimmer the one reason why I put off buying this uh, one like I said my experience with a riding mower in farmers dynasty and two yeah if you take a bush trimming job somewhere well you gotta ride the mower to the job so our mill is kind of like in the southern center part of the map. So if you have a bush trimming job in the northern end, northern end of the map, you have to drive there in the mower to do so. If you want to do it with the weed trimmer, you can hop into whatever vehicle you have and drive up there and then whip out the weed trimmer. Or if you have enough vehicles like I do at this point, I teleport to a vehicle and then uh, trim the lawn that way if I decide to do so bush trimming jobs. So just by going from one side of the map to the other, you can see it's going to take a while. 25 kilometers an hour, not the greatest. I don't even remember what the speed of the old tractor is that we get in the quest line in the beginning of the game. Uh, I think that speed on that tractor was 20, maybe 22, 24 kilometers in there, somewhere about that. Uh, the good news is it's not losing speed going uphill. Uh, how's it doing on the fuel? Well, at least I'm not going through the fuel as much. You can see that... <laughs> At least I look relaxed on there. Nice and relaxed. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go back and we're going to, like I said, I'm going to do like one path with the riding mower and just do one path with the weed trimmer just to see if the working width is the same. Now, where we're going to mow the grass, the, the land is really flat there. So I don't expect the riding mower to get stuck or have any issues. So yeah, let's get back there. Let's go to the mill and start cutting some grass and we'll compare this to the weed trimmer. All right, so here we are, back at our lovely mill. So I got off the road, didn't get run over. So there is a start mowing. I did. I just kind of missed it at the store, I suppose. But 
here we are with our riding mower. So what I want to do is just make a, a straight path as much as I can with the riding mower. And then we'll do so with the weed streamer. Is it called the weed streamer? I think it's called the weed streamer in Farmer's Dynasty. What's it called here? Wait, do I? It's in tools. Um, well, here it's called motor sense. But either way, uh, it's on F7. Okay, F7. Let's go ahead and turn the mower on. I said turn the mower. There we go. Helps if you hit the right key. Make a straight path. I mean, yeah, it, it goes pretty darn fast. All right, let's hop off the mower. So you can see the path it made with the mower. Let's press F7. And kind of run in a straight line as best I can, as fast as I can. And the best way to get a better view on it, let's hop back onto the mower so I can zoom out a little bit. It kind of looks like it's the same working width to me, if you ask, if you ask me. Uh, just my opinion. All right. But does the riding mower, you know, go faster? Does it give you, you know, we get the job done quicker? In an open area like this, I'm going to say yes, it will. In a, doing like a bush trimming job, is it worth it? Because you got like a lot of farms and fence lines and little uh, crevices you have to get into, undulations, all that kind of stuff. Is it worth it? Is it worth 8000 over the weed trimmer? I'm not sure. Um, at least I can show it to you. See, you know, show it off and you can make a decision on your own. I mean, I guess it's it, it, this would be fine for doing it around our house, around the mill here. Because it's relatively flat. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, don't have to worry about mowing the yard here. Don't worry about it too much. Let's cut across the road here. And we're just going to zoom on up the hill. And so going up a hill like that, I mean, it's kind of a steep hill for a riding mower, but you can see it kind of died on the, the speed a little bit. I mean, overall, I think this is actually doing a better job than the one in Farmer's Dynasty does. But it's been so long since I used one in Farmer's Dynasty, I probably shouldn't even say that. Probably have to give that one a whirl again as well. I'm kind of trying to see how it does on certain areas. I'm trying to see how it gets stuck. I mean, like I said, I really haven't tried it myself, but people have said it gets stuck rather easily. But right now, I think it's doing better than I thought it was going to do. But it is, as you saw, 8,000 euros. I guess, well, what was it, like 4,000 euros or 8,000 8, social points? Let's see how I make up my mind. Is it worth it? Is it working with wider than the wheat strimmer or motor sense? No, did not look like it at all. But I would say it's not getting stuck at all for me, so I'll give it credit for that. And I guess it is more mobile than the weed strimmer. Plus with the riding mower, I guess you have a better view of what you're doing. On the weed strimmer, you just kind of focus on the grass in front of you. At least with the mower, you can, you're not staring at the ground right in front of you. So, I mean, that, that's a plus. Let's pull this grass here. Because it always annoys me when I'm over here with a flatbed. Or the forklift loading in the grass. I'm not loading the grass, loading in the crates. I'm seeing grass everywhere. So yeah, as you see this, we're less than two weeks away from full release. I'm getting kind of uh, excited a little bit to see what new quests we have to do. I mean, if it's full release, I would assume all the quests should be in the game. I, I would assume, but you know what happens when you assume. Gonna get that little piece there in the corner. It's not too bad. 
Uh, let's drive it on up and see. I'm pretty sure we should be able to paint it. I would think we would be able to. Yeah, it's a little bumpy in here. Will it get stuck in here? A little bit of a rough rider we are. So overall, yeah, it's, it's better than I thought it would be. Um, if I do a job, though, am I going to drive the mower up to do the bush trimming job? Probably not. I'd rather use this to weed trimmer. But as for using around the mill and doing the yard once every year, or is it, I don't know if we're going to have to do it twice a year. Uh, yeah, I probably, uh, you know, using this wouldn't be that bad of an idea, I guess. But I mean, like, you know, once you got the wood shop, the furniture shop going, spending 8000 on the riding mower is not a bad purchase, I would say. So I know I've been putting down this thing quite a bit, but it's doing better than I thought it would. Or, or, for those of you saying it's stuck rather easily, I'm just getting really, really lucky. But I, I realize I'm in a really, really flat area here around the house, so. That's always helpful. Let's turn the rider off. I wonder if I park the rider around the house in the future and I get a wife. Will she mow the lawn? <laughs> I doubt it. Let's come up here. That's entree. Uh, sure. Well, that's a little bit uh, in your eye, isn't it? Holy crap. No, it's... Let's do that. I'm just trying to find the right kind of a green here. Let's go with a bit of a darker green. That's a little bit better. It's kind of confusing. When I hear the sound of the mower, it almost sounds like the deck is engaged. We're going to come in here and park it in the garage. There it is. There she be. Not bad. Uh, is it worth 8000 I'm going to leave that up to you. But at least I showed you. The working width is the same. But I do believe if you're doing like around the, the yard here and everything, it'll be great. But like I said, was my point before. It's like if you have a bush trimming job up here, you have to dry the mower all the way up here and get the job done. Then eventually you have to drive it all the way back. Or if you tend to leave it there and just drive it from one spot to another to wherever you're working. That is fine. Play the game the way you want and have fun with it, right? That's the whole point of playing games. All right, so what I need to do today is a little bit more. We're going to make a trip or maybe two over with the bison over to where we're picking up some logs before. Uh, we weren't picking up logs. We were stump grinding with the strong tractor. Sneak in out of here. Because I want to get some more oak and birch logs into the river process in the mill so like I said in two weeks time when the game does become released I want to make sure I got to get them out of crates of as much of everything as I possibly can have so if quests come up and says hey we need pine crates or we need you know Bru uh, Bruce yeah Bruce who's Bruce I don't know uh, spruce planks I want to make sure I got some planks of everything kind of sticking around here so I can I don't want to say just hurry up and get the jobs done but see where it leads to. I'm really interested in the repair part of things. Uh, I hope that even the new stuff will break down after so many hours and we have to bring it into the shop and kind of maybe buy parts and repair it. I don't think it's going to be like a car mechanic simulator type thing where we have to disassemble machinery, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, have to buy parts for a tractor and at least let's go into the garage and make it look like I'm fixing something because it does say where where is a mechanic fix damaged and it use vehicles parts yourself all right so say parts break down on the, the bison I guess I'd have to bring the bison into the garage and I have no idea <laughs> I have no idea what they plan on doing not a flipping clue so I did do a little bit of stump grinding here before I start recording. Hey, I got some seeds using my greenhouse. What type of seeds? I have no idea. And I, no, I was going to say, did I go the right way? I most certainly did. 
All right, so there was a lone log over here. Yep, there it is. Let's go ahead and grab that. Put that right dead center, please. Thank you very much. Like I said, right now I am going to just try to grab the oak and the birch logs. That's all I really want in the back of this thing. I keep forgetting that this arm does not rotate. It's basically a 180 degree rotation on the arm from right to left. It can't go around as much as the trailer one does. Uh, those are all spruce. Here's some oak logs right over here. Load them on up. So yeah, I got about three more days worth on the crates that are in the dryers. And like I said, I'm not going to bring those down to the furniture store. I can always bring them down later. The, I mean, I would like to put them in there and possibly make something, but as far as I know, we cannot take the crates out of the furniture workshop once you put them in there. So I don't want to put them in there and go, oh, crap, I need those. Uh, take them back out. It'd be nice to put them in there because it's kind of like a storage area in a way. And they're not piled up everywhere like they are around the dryers. Where we got them where the wood chip board uh, factory is. I say you should be able to pick that up. Can I stick you down in here? I don't think so. Trying to see, is that a and that's an oak that's an oak log. Yep. Plus it'll tell you peanut when you put your grappling hook down there, it'll tell you. Oh, I think I saw nope. Come on, right there. There we go. Oh, are you gonna spaz out? Oh you are. Now you have fun in there. See if you pop out on me or not. So I think I got most of the stumps taken care of on this forest area right here. I'm going to grab that one, thank you. Um, that's not going to fit there, so we'll just put that on top. Can we fit you in here? Nope, looks like a narrow one's got to go in there. Maybe I can fit you here. There we go, that works. Looks like I got nothing but uh, oaks over here to pick up. No birch trees whatsoever. No, those are pine. Grab some more oaks here. Yeah, the oaks do take up a lot of room on your trailer because they're a little bit thicker. And let's see, where can I sneak you in? Anywhere down here? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so right there is good. Looks like that is on the trailer. Oh, there are some birch logs on this property. I know there's a whole bunch on the one right across this little pathway here. So we'll grab some of these. Got a lot of logs to clean up. I think for a while here, or I may do it in between episodes, I may go around and pick up all the logs I cut down. And then we can get back to maybe some doing some tree harvesting with the cobra. Or maybe get these lots right here replanted. As long as I get them planted just before the end of the season. It's all that kind of really matters. Yeah, in real life, I don't think I want to be going down the road with a size of load like this on the back of a bison. Even if they were strapped in. Can I get you there? I think so. I think you're in. Let's grab what we can.
So this is what I was saying previously when some people are saying I got so many logs on the back of my trailer. Look how many birch logs I got at the top. There's like maybe almost 10. And look how much little space they take up compared to the oak logs which take up a whole bunch of space. So the only way that you can really compare is maybe fill up the trailer, the new trailer with logs as best you can, and then take those logs out, put them aside, bring the bison over, and then load the logs into the back of the bison, and see if you can fit more logs on afterwards. Uh, you're not technically on, are you? Are you trying to tell me you're full? <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's full. That one's on there. I'll find places for you. Actually, I got more logs on here than I thought I would. Squeeze you in somewhere. And if you remember, I did send a, a message to find out about the full release if it was available for console and if it was going to be for um, full content on both platforms and yeah I have not gotten no reply at all so my guess is at this point I'm not going to get a reply <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to fit any more oak trees on here oak logs man I still got a lot of logs here all right let's bring these back to the mill In real life, I think this thing probably would tip over a couple times if I were to take a corner a little bit too tight. So also, someone did ask me about blueprints. I think for the most part, I got most of the blueprints. I don't believe, and a few people have confirmed when they replied back to them. As for the kitchen furniture, the only kitchen furniture that we're all aware of is the beginner's furniture or tier one furniture. There is no intermediate furniture blueprints. And really, I stopped going out trying to find blueprints because I do have the puffy chair, which makes the most money um, per plank. But I do have another blueprint, which I'd rather make as the crib. That way I have to make as many trips back and forth to the shop. So I'm happy with the blueprints I got. I'll wait until the tier 3 uh, blueprints come available. I think it's only going to be in, in the treasure chest, but we'll wait a couple more weeks and find out ourselves when the game does uh, become full release, I would assume. Tier 3 stuff will be in there. Also, we should be able to find tier 3 recipes. At least I hope we'll be able to find them because I got a lot of herbs uh, stacking up. and I don't know what to use them for. There's just some potions I don't want to go ahead and make. Actually, I need to turn a left right here. And never, and I know I repeat myself a lot in this, never leave anything parked on the unloading platform when you save the game and exit. There's always a chance for it to fall through. All right, you guys go ahead and get processed. Give me some bark, give me some wood chips. I probably should double check on the bar because it's been a while. Can I check on that inside the vehicle? Uh, nope, I have to get out of the vehicle to see to see that. So I was trying to see what my bark level was at. You can do it, but you have to be out of the vehicle and click on... Oh, well, I don't know what it's called. Uh, lumber mill stats, I guess, or... I know in Farmer's Dynasty it's called farming stats. It'll show me the capacities. Or you can go over to where the, bor the, the, bork, uh, the bark is stored and see what your level is. Oh, and I was wondering about the planks and so, a couple people did reply said so they got tons of plank crates everywhere and it doesn't seem to lag out too much or at all, so that's good news. I don't know how many crates I got sitting around the wood chip factory, but maybe, I would say maybe close to 100. 120 somewhere around there I remember when we stored them when we were taking them out of the dryers we were storing them on the lawn I had a good amount and didn't have any lag problems I just bring it up because we had lag problems if you got too many logs over where they get accepted up into the mill 
but I don't believe that is a problem anymore. At least for me, it isn't. Let's keep on dropping them in there. Eventually, <laughs> they will go on down the river and be processed. This is a good amount of logs that we got going here. I probably got two more full trips, I think, over there on those two pieces of forest that we have. As long as the logs keep splashing, you're good. Uh, is that one going to splash eventually? That might be questionable. It's up here on the loading dock. I mean, I, I probably could pick it up, right? Yeah, I can. How far down can that one go? That goes, that goes down pretty far, that grappling hook. There we go. All right, let's go park the bison on up and let me just check my bark status to make sure I'm not anywhere near close to full, so I don't want any issues to where I'm losing bark. Because that is losing money. And maybe I don't have a hundred of them out here. Now let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, and... Actually, maybe I might have a hundred of those crates out here. So wood chips, we shouldn't even be anywhere near close. Yeah, we're only like at 10% there. And on the bark. Yeah, I'm halfway there. So probably after it runs to these set of logs, I'll have to bring the trailer on over. And empty out the bark. And bring it on down to the mill and sell that. I don't think, it doesn't say we have an option to do anything with the bark, right? Process logs can be spilled, can be spilled here? I don't want to spill them. You can sell it or use it for different purposes. Okay, so it does say for different purposes on the bark as well. So maybe I won't sell it. Maybe I'll just pop it into a trailer and keep it. I don't remember that saying that before. Has it always said that for the bark? Use for different purposes. Uh, the logs we kind of know that we might need in the future. So, wait, where are we here? Uh, so, oak and birch. I think the amount of oak and birch logs I brought over may get me up to the 40s. Up near, maybe even 50s on the on the oak. Because we brought a lot of oak logs over. So, as we know, the, the storage will spit out whatever it has the most of. It looks like uh, the last thing I was taking out here was probably the birch. So, like I said, that will be dry in about three days. We'll go ahead and probably throw those over here in the area that we've been were mowing earlier with our new riding mower. So yeah, I'll probably will use the riding mower around the farm or the mill. Oh yeah, so what's it called? Oh, game information. So it's not called mill information. So you go to game information when you're out of a vehicle, when you're anywhere in the map, and it'll show you your bark silo or deep barking building silo is at 52%. Uh, chip stored is 12%. Fuel in stock at the garage. 900 liters. Uh, I'm a trusted member of the society now. <laughs> yeah, they don't know me well enough. Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty darn good here. Pretty darn good. The furniture the furniture workshop does do wonders. I can't wait to get the cows and the chickens over here. Also some sheep. Someone did ask me what animal am I looking forward to. Um, I guess this sheep. Because we kind of know what the cows and the chickens do. Cows give milk. Chickens give eggs. I know the sheep give wool, but I'm just trying to figure out what are we going to do with the wool. Uh, the eggs and the milk, yeah, we're going to make some recipes with it. The wool, I'm not too sure. Are we just going to sell the wool straight out? Or is it going to be like uh, people, NPCs, going to want wool for things? I have no idea. But we'll find out here in a couple weeks' time, I think. I think anyways. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you next time right here in Lumberjack's Dynasty. But until then... Have a good one. Water low looks good. We're all set there.